The ear can be divided into three parts, and each has its own important role. The parts are the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear, you have your pinna for ear canal. The middle ear, you have the three smallest bones in your body, the air field and an air filled space. And the inner ear is the cochlea, the hearing organ, and the auditory nerve. When we measure sound, we divide the ear into two portions air conduction and bone conduction. Air conduction tests the whole system, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. Bone conduction tests just the inner ear and beyond. By testing two different ways, we can pull apart three different types of hearing loss. Conductive hearing loss, which occurs in the outer and middle ear, a sensory neural hearing loss, which occurs in the inner ear and inward, or a mixed hearing loss, which has a portion of a conductive hearing loss and a portion of a sensory neural hearing loss. The outer ear takes in sound from outside the head. Sound then travels through the ear canal to the eardrum membrane, also known as the tympanic membrane, at the end of the ear canal. The middle ear consists of an air-filled space with a chain of tiny bones. The tiny bones are also known as the ossicles. And the middle ear is connected to the nose by the eustachian tube. That's why you see an ear, nose, and throat doctor. It's all connected, your nose, your throat, and your ear through the eustachian tube. Middle ear space is an air-filled space, just like the ear canal. The cochlea is your hearing organ. It is filled with fluids and hair cells. They're not real hair cells. They're projections that are very important for measuring sound. The cochlea is responsible for converting waves into messages that travel to the base of the brain by way of the eighth auditory nerve. The inner ear, you also have the auditory nerve. That's your neural connection. There's a series of way stations that receive, analyze, and transmit impulses all the way up the auditory pathway to the cortex of the brain. When we're measuring hearing, we separate out the portions. So the conductive portion is the outer ear and the middle ear, and the sensory neural portion is the inner ear and the auditory nerve. Sounds can be tested two ways. First, with air conduction, which tests the whole system. Air conduction sends sounds through the outer ear, the middle ear, or the inner ear to the auditory nerve. It's like when you wear the headphones. You also test hearing through bone conduction, where a vibrator is put on the mastoid bone where the cochlea sits and the cochlea is directly vibrated and the fluid in the cochlea in the inner ear creates the sound and the message is then sent to the brain. So air conduction, any sound that goes through the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear and beyond. Hearing by air conduction depends on the health of the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. So to have normal air conduction scores, one must have a completely healthy outer, middle, and inner ear. Bone conduction bypasses the outer and middle ear, directly vibrates the skull, and stimulates the inner ear. Hearing by bone conduction depends on the function of the inner ear and beyond. So air conduction tests the whole system. Bone conduction tests just the cochlea and the auditory nerve. By testing both ways, we can figure out whether they're, where the problem is, whether it's in the conductive portion, the outer ear, the middle ear, or the sensory neural portion, which is the inner ear and the auditory nerve.